I'm merely going to dinner. And as soon as I tell him about all of you, he'll bring me home in plenty of time for dessert. I was trying to figure out the most graceful way to break it to him. Speaking of eight children, <laughs> that's what I have. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's why I come in this place. I have eight children. Well, don't look at me. I just got here. And speaking of children... We weren't speaking of children. Oh, thank goodness. I have eight children. Eight children? Will you hear what I have to tell you? What? I have ten children. Ten? I'm glad I have ten children. And I'm glad I have my eight. And I'm glad I'm careful. What would you like, Aunt Helen? Uh, I'd like a light screwdriver, please. <laughs> Typical wedding. Enemies of the bride on the right, enemies of the groom on the left. We won't be a family. We're going to be a freak show. People kept staring as if they thought we were crazy. They didn't get any argument from me. I thought I saw the house cringe as we drove up. Where am I, Ken? You are 14 red seats. Everybody's got a number, from the oldest to the youngest. All the bathrooms are a color, all the bedrooms are a letter. And that makes you number 14, bathroom red, and room C. Uh, your blues and greens are wonderful, but your he's and she's are a little mixed up. Sister's locked in the bathroom. What sister? I don't know her name yet. I don't know whether I'm 14, red, and what? Gee, you got any food around here? Now, what's the name of this organization? It's an emergency. The Beardsleys are here. Five pounds of bacon. Two gallons of oatmeal, three dozen eggs, and 40 pieces of toast. Would you care to check it? Doctor, this is Christmas, not April Fool. You do not have indigestion. What you have is a simple case of pregnancy. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Can we sleep here? Me. And I Meet Dad. He's a real man. Got a beer? Seven o'clock in the morning. Scotch? An all-out go-getter. But when his job pulled the plug on him... I'm fine. You son of a dude! They threw a switch. Go, oh. yeah. okay. Good luck. And he became the lady of the house. It sure looks like he got a terrific deal. Honey, if you call and I'm not here, I'll be at the gym or at the gun club. Exercise. And relaxation. Good home cooking. Arts and crafts. Kenny! Don't paint your sister! And fun and games with the neighbors. Are these any good? We've got two pair. We've got plenty. That's when he was forced to face the bare facts. Huh? His new job is a mother. Michael Keaton. Where's Bobby? Keep the extra diapers. And Terry Garr in Mr. Mom, a mother of a comedy.
It began as just another day on the south side of Chicago. All right, now listen up. Give me your wallet and your jewelry won't be no problem. Eddie, <laughs> get your, leave the boys alone. Sit down. It became an extraordinary day at the barber shop. I need a cut. A little off the top, long in the back, but not quite no shag. Slope to the left like Gumby. Eddie Monster in the front, a little white cliff on the right. Come on, hook that up, fire. From MGM Pictures and the producers of Soul Food and Men of Honor. Push it down. Hey, hey. <laughs> You wanna know how I really feel about you? Just think about that baby face song. Which one? You know what I mean? Tell them. Yeah, yeah. All of them, baby. If you don't pay the property taxes, the bank is gonna foreclose on the shop. I made your father the same offer, but you're a better businessman. You got vision. How could you sell this place? You know we're trying to get our recording studio off the ground. You can't give this up. Ice Cube. Your father wouldn't put up with this mess. Do I look like my father? Yeah? Yeah, you do, man. Pretty much in the nose. Anthony Anderson. Sean Patrick Thomas. Eve. And Cedric the Entertainer. Yo, Daddy, he believed that something as simple as a little haircut could change the way a man felt on the inside. Sometimes... Finding the strength Get out. to do what's right. Here go your money back. I'm putting it right here on the table. Man, you're going to take this money. You're going to take this money. It's in the people. We can't talk straight in the barbershop. Then where can we talk straight? Right beside you. Rodney King should have got beat for driving drunk and being grown in a Hyundai. Oh. Barbershop. I'll get you good. Hey, y'all, look at this lady. <laughs> What kind of car is it, man? Camera. Oh, man, that's a good car. I got one of them. I just bought one. See, this smooth. When he get through, his face gonna be real smooth like Gary Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> one of the reasons I wanted to come here tonight was to discuss our future. Of course. I plan on running for office someday. Warner. I think we should break up. What? Oh. If I'm gonna be a senator, I need someone serious. I'm seriously in love with you. I love you. Liar! This is the type of girl that Warner wants to marry. A law student. Going to Harvard is the only way I'm gonna get the love of my life back. For my admissions essay, Action. I'm gonna tell all of you why I'm gonna make an amazing lawyer. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. I object. Her list of extracurricular activities is impressive. She was in a Ricky Martin video. Aren't we always looking for diversity? Welcome to Harvard. Don't be scared. Everyone will love you. No? Uh, I'm sorry, are you here to see me? I go here. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? I got a PhD from Berkeley. MBA from Wharton. I've been deworming orphans in Somalia. Two weeks ago, I saw Cameron Diaz at Fred Siegel, and I talked her out of buying this truly heinous Angora sweater. <laughs> Malibu Barbie lives. I've come to join your study group. Our group is full. Oh, is this like an RSVP thing? No, it's like a smart people thing. I give her two more weeks. What is this? We're betting to see how much longer you're going to last. You're not smart enough, sweetie. I'll show you how valuable Elwoods Woods can be. MGM Pictures presents... Do you have a resume? It's pink. And it's scented. I think it gives it a little something extra. A comedy about knowing who you are. You think she just woke up one morning and said, I think I'll go to law school today. And showing what you've got. We're defending Brooke Window. You can buy her exercise tips on infomercials. Wait! Exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. You're fired. What? I have new representation. Reese Witherspoon. Do you remember when we spent those four amazing hours in the hot tub after winter formal? This is so much better than that. Legally Blonde. Oh, look how cute. There's like a judge in everything. Stop it! 